Hi there, this is Marhab Dad here again. So now we have to configure the DHCP server on the bridge. So as you can see here, we have a lab of four pawns. Before I start doing those pawns, let me explain to you why we need to do that and what is the function of the DHCP server. And then I will come back to the pawns and start doing that. So we said that we have a bridge interface and we put inside of it Ethernet 2, 3, 4 and the wireless WLAN. Correct? That's what we have done. Now, what I need to do is that anyone who is connected to any of those ports, 2, 3, 4 or wireless, they should receive from me or from the router IP address, subnet mask, gateway and DNS. Right? So imagine that you are in a restaurant or in the airport or whatever. When you connect to the wireless, then directly you receive from the uh, wireless router the IP address, the uh, subnet mask, the gateway and the DNS. So that's what is the function of the DHCP server so same what this one has given me this information to here now i need to make my router to provide this information to this computer when it's connected to internet 2 or to the phone when it is connected to the wireless so where shall i configure the dhcp server i will configure it on the bridge interface that means any of those ports will receive the ip address from the dhcp server that i'm going to configure it on the bridge interface on the router all right, so that's what uh, we need to do. Let's go back now to the points and start doing that. Point number one, put an IP address on the bridge interface. Let's put the picture and very important that uh, once you want to configure the uh, DHCP server, then you should have on the interface that you are configuring the DHCP server, you should have an IP address. And this IP address is going to be the gateway for the users which are in the LAN. So let's go to the router. And we connect again to the router and let's go to the IP address to put an IP address on the bridge. I will take 10.10.10.1 slash 24 and look where I shall I apply it on the bridge. So now this bridge has an IP address. Point number one is now point number two as this bridge has an IP address. Let's configure now the DHCP server on that bridge interface. So how to configure the DHCP server? We go to IP DHCP server and the easiest way is to go to DHCP setup. The DHCP server interface is the bridge where we put the IP. Next. Look directly, it's check that, okay, the, the address space is 10.10.10. something because that's from the range of the IP we put it on the interface. I say next. Is this going to be the gateway for all the uh, LAN users? Yes. That's the one. Next, the IPs that are going to provide it to the LAN users will be from 10.10.10.2 .10 .10 until 254. Yes, that's fine for me. Next, are these going to be the DNS uh, IP to your users? Yes, that's fine. Next, and the least time 10 minutes, and that's it. So now, believe it or not, we configured the DHCP server on the router. Point number two is done. Point number three, check if your PC has received an IP address. Let's have a look. Let's go to my computer because he's connected to Ethernet 2. Look to the picture. He's connected to Ethernet 2. And we configure the DHCP server on the bridge and Ethernet 2 is inside this bridge. So he should receive an IP. If we try to do IP config, so he has an APIP IP because he didn't communicate yet with the uh, router. So let's do IP config slash, slash re renew. So I will say to my PC, renew the IP. Communicate with the DHCP server. So here we go, directly you see he received an IP 10.10.10.254. So as you can see, it's working. And if I say now IP, IP config slash uh, all. So you look here, that is received 10.10.10.254. The default gateway dot one. The DHCP server dot one. The DNS, like I put them, a.a.a.8 .a 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 and a.a.4.4. .a .a .4. So everything is working perfectly now. Point number three is done. Point number four. Can your PC go to the internet? So let's try. He has received an IP from the router. He has the gateway from the router. And the router is connected to the internet. So why not that the PC cannot go to the internet? Let's try. I'm pinging to Google DNS a.8.8.8 and look. Request timed out. It's not able yet to go to the internet. But why? They say here, why not? Why not? So let me show you why. If I go here to the picture, 
and uh, now my computer has 10 let's take another color maybe it's better 10.10.254 10 this one is 10.10.10.1 correct so that means my computer he can ping to a router one on 10.10.10.1 look ping 10.10.10.1 he can ping it so once my computer want to go to the internet he say hey I'll, he will send this request to his gateway and tell him please take me to a.a.a.8 .a .a .a. now the router will look it's coming from 10.10.10 .10 network and he will look on his ethernet one and ethernet one we've seen that the ip is 172. i think 22 something right so let's check it on the one box 172.22.0.250 you see so it's another range of ip so if we go back to the picture it has 172.22.0. something dot x so it's different range of ip addresses and uh yeah now in this case it's not able to send this one and also because this is a private ip address private ip addresses they never go to the internet without you do not but you may tell me that but this one also is a private ip address how come it's going to the internet because this router which is the isp router has also not at, so network address translation so he's translating this one when it comes to this router to a public ip address public ip address they are routed to the internet they can go to the internet By private they cannot so that means what is missing now is also to make not on my router to not the 10.10.10 .10 .10 to 172.22 that means network address translation to translate them to be 172 then 172 it's on ethernet one then it can go to this router and also here there is a not at the end going to public to go to the uh, a dot a dot a dot a so why not because we don't have NAT configured yet on the router you got the idea point number four is done and with this point i have showed you how you can configure the dhcp server on the micric router now let's go to the next uh, lab to see how we can configure the NAT and to see if everything is gonna work for us for the internet but also to configure the wireless so i hope that this lecture was informative for you and i'll see you in the upcoming lecture